we may lose a ton of games this year, but it can't be like that. You know, I think for us, we need to find our competitive spirit within all of this. Like, you know, like everyone's talking about development and growing guys, but at the same time, it's not about like, you know, handing it to people. Like you need to come out and, and compete, be competitive, play for one another, and then, you know, we kind of go from there. So. What was it like trying to compensate for the loss? Yeah. Well, just having a, a bigger body out there, I think outside of the barrage of threes that they hit, it was uh, very easy for them to get to the rim. You know, gaff or not, you know, at the end of the day, we have to take pride in guarding our man and, um, you know, letting that be the first line of defense and then worry about, you know, help side and stuff. But, you know, like I said, I think it's a learning lesson. I think the best thing about basketball is we play another game Wednesday. And, um, you know, just got to strap it on, so. How, uh, how comfortable were you starting at the five and is that something you foresee really going forward as an option or uh, playing small ball five? Well, I mean, it's just basketball at the end of the day. I don't really think there's positions on the basketball court, you know, in this modern day age of basketball. But, um, I mean, I'm comfortable playing anywhere on the court. I think, um, you know, just my knowledge, understanding, knowing the plays, knowing what the five is supposed to do. Um, I think that's why I kind of coach, you know, elected me to be right there. So. Kyle, uh, what, how do you sum up the contributions towards your this night year? And uh, although you're more concerned about the outcome of the game, what was it like to at least see him both before the game and after? Uh, KP, man, he's such a great dude. Uh, I think he uh, he left a lasting impact on me, you know, just being, you know, so easygoing and, and relaxed and chilled. You know, I think a lot of times for me, I'm very uptight, a little bit stressed, you know, when I'm playing basketball. But, you know, really being his teammate, you know, just tranquilo a little bit. So, um, you know, he made a huge impact here. He was a great locker room guy. Everybody loved him. And uh, I'm happy for him. He has a chance to really do something that he wants to do in his career. He's never really had that opportunity to play on a, like a, um, a contending type of team. And, um, you know, he fits in seamless, seamlessly over there, you know, not really have to, having to do too much, you know, block a few shots, hit a few threes. And it just looks like he's having a lot of fun. So I'm happy for him. It seemed like tonight was a really good test for Bilal. How do you think? Um, I think, you know, he's still just learning. It's going to take some time. I think, um, you know, certain things that he can learn and pick up on is obviously if we're playing this small small ball type of team, fives are probably guarding him. So really just realizing, okay, I got to put my guy into action because the five man's guarding me. And, um, you know, obviously, you know, if the five's on, they're probably going to let him shoot. So just learning how to play within that, you know what I mean? So like I said, it's a long season. He's a rookie. He's 19. He's got to learn, and uh, he will learn because uh, he wants to learn. So, it was, uh, it's only been a three-game sample size, but Denny looks more comfortable and confident on offense right now, especially in the first part of the season. What are you seeing from him? I think he's comfortable. I think um, you know it's still a little bit of a just a cohesive thing that we need to continue to figure out. Um, I think obviously, coach is playing a lot of different lineups right now figuring out um, guys and, and what works best. And I think for Denny, um, he just needs to be confident in himself and, and remain that way. Um, you know, he's already got paid. So the the, the hard part's out the way. I think the, the, the next step for him is just like, just realizing and, and playing the game within the game uh, from an offensive perspective, but also, um, you know, we need more from him. We need more from him, you know, offensively and defensively, both sides. So. Well, it's just um, just having conversation, having a um, you know certain type of approach with your head coach, and um, just having that type of rapport. You know, being able to conversate and talk to him on the court, um, you know, in a positive way is, is always good. And um, you know, we we need all the talk we we can get. You know, at the end of the day, like I said, um, you know, we have our work cut out for us on most nights, and, and especially being down gap right now, um, you know, it just only helps. It only helps because at the end of the day, like, coach is coaching, but we're on the floor. And, um, 
you know, just trying to help out. Uh, I think it's just a little bit of both. It's pride and competitiveness. It's, you know, I think <clears throat> when you're young and you're in college, you know, the, the term is guard your yard. And we have to take pride in that. Like I said, missing gap is huge for point paints, but it starts guarding the ball. And I think tonight we, um, you know, we're going to play stars every night. You know, every team has at least one star. And, you know, our job is to not give respect to those stars. And I think tonight, prime example of that, you know, obviously those guys are amazing talents, but, you know, I think we just gave them a little bit too much respect, not really, you know, making them sweat, making them work for, for their things. And um, that's something that we can improve on. So we've talked a lot about your offensive role. You spent a lot of time on Tatum tonight. Was um, that an indication of what you think his role is going to be? Uh, I mean, I just want to compete. I want to compete. And I think that uh, for me, like, like I said, earlier about development. This is development for me too. You know, I'm not just a vet on this team. Like every game I'm trying to grow too. And that starts on ball, um, you know, offensively and defensively at the same time. So um, I want to take those challenges. And, you know, I think that, you know, me taking bigger guys, that's going to make everybody want to play defense. Cause you know, I'm not just slouching off on, you know, some other guy in the starting five. I'm taking pride in it. and. It's what I want to do. So, um, I'll ask basketball question. But tomorrow's Halloween. They need good Miss Bang in her costume. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really good. So, do you have anything planned for tomorrow? No, it's travel day. I wish. I wish I could. She does a great job, though. That's hilarious. Did you help her with it? Nah, she. You know, I didn't even see none of this stuff until she posted it today. But um, yeah, she does a great job. She does a great job. Went up against some of the best players in the league at your position. What was that like? What, what was this test like for you? No, oh, that was nice. You know, I'm used to watch them in the All Star Weekend and everything, and now playing against them was such a great experience. Yeah. What did you learn from this game? That you gotta compete because uh, them guys are here to to win uh, every possession. They're gonna play hard, so you gotta play hard too. Um, so, uh, what were the conversations like with coaches when after the hurdle? How did your task change, or what was Wes telling you guys? Yeah, he was saying to everybody, just we just gotta compete because uh, we were not playing our basketball. Uh, that was not us. So just be us. Uh, play like physical. Uh, we were letting them whatever they wanted to do. So yeah, just just be physical and compete. When you're going up with guys against guys who have a lot more weight and are older than you, everything like that. How how are you trying, I guess, to use your body? You don't necessarily have the same mm -hmm. physicality. Uh, I mean, defensively, I'm just trying to anticipate a little bit what they're doing because I've been watching a lot of films uh, just to see how they move, what they be doing. So, yeah, I just kind of know how they play so I can anticipate sometimes. Sometimes I get cold, but that's basketball. And, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to anticipate a little bit and uh, play as hard as possible. I don't know if you know this, but you were the youngest player to ever start in a Wizards game. Uh, is that something you were aware of before the game, or did you just learn that right now? Yeah, I just learned that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's great. How does that? How does that feel? No, that feels great. Uh, making history, it's always right. here. Sure. When did you find out that you were the starting center? Uh, I shoot around this morning, uh, cause yeah, I knew that gap was out, so I knew that I was starting. After going through an experience of guarding Tatum, guarding Brown, you know, something that immediately stands out to you as a yeah, I'll say um, sometimes just be way, way, way more physical because uh, they be playing with shoulders, you know, they, they know how to create space. So, yeah, just got to be ready to, you know, uh, contest those shots and uh, do whatever you want because sometimes they're going to make it even though you're playing great defense. So just don't be frustrated and uh, play as hard as possible. How did you feel with the uh, Felt good, felt good. Everybody was hyped up. So, yeah, always good.